Number one thing is we give thanks to God. For me, number one thing is gratitude. Gratitude to God Almighty. They continue to protect and bless our dear country, Nigeria. Number two is gratitude to Nigerians that participated in the election asking the call as true citizens in our dear country. Number three is gratitude to those of Nigerians, especially the youth, that believed and worked tirelessly for a new Nigeria and trusting that new Nigeria on that team are my good self. I thank them for their hard work. Gratitude to the obedience youth, those who believe that a new Nigeria is possible. And I say to them that a new Nigeria is possible. I will work for that new Nigeria that is possible. Their resilience, their hard work for a new Nigeria should not be won. Daddy and I co remain committed to that new Nigeria. I know how they'll be feeling now because of the way the elections have come and gone. The commitment and resilience of Nigerians even in face of unwarranted rhetoric attacks is a testimony that a new Nigeria is indeed possible. I look at people like Lady Jennifer Ifed, who was stabbed but insisted on voting. And that gives me courage to believe that a new Nigeria is indeed possible. And there's so many other Nigerians. The election that we just witnessed have been conducted and results announced as programmed. It is a clear vision from electoral rules and guidelines as we were promised. This election, as you know, did not meet the minimum standard expected of a free transparent, credible, fair election. It will go down as one of the most controversial elections ever conducted in Nigeria. The good and hardworking people of Nigeria have again been robbed by our supposed leaders when they trusted. However, let me humbly and most respectfully appeal to all Nigerians to remain peaceful, law abiding, and conduct themselves in the most responsible manner. Please be assured that Dati and I, and indeed all of us, this is not the end, but the beginning of the journey for a birth of new Nigeria. That is Ahmed and I remain absolutely undaunted and deeply committed to the project of a new Nigeria that will be built on honesty, transparency, fairness, justice, equity. All the above starts with the process. The process through which people come into office is far more fundamental more important than what they do thereafter. It is my belief, and I've maintained so consistently, 
But if you must answer His Excellency, the process through which you arrive to office must be excellent. <laughs> we must now require that we do the right things in order to generate the required confidence and moral authority to lead. As you know, the destruction of a society begin and gradually progress when we act rascally or we deliberate the manipulation of the rule of law and suppression of the will of the people. During my campaign post, I would say that we will govern by the rule of law because we know what not doing that will bring about. And that's why we say that. Let me reiterate. And I assure you that good people of Nigeria that will explore all legal and peaceful action to reclaim our mandate. <laughs> we won the election. We won the election. And we will prove it to Nigeria. Do not despair. We have elections coming up on the 11th. I enjoy you to go out campaign. And bring up people to again come out and vote in that election. We still have so many massive support out there that we need for subnational and state assemblies. Please come out and be part of that election. I assure you that I will be part of it. I assure you that I am totally committed for a better future in this country. And nothing will stop that. That is commitment. Thank My you. commitment is to be rest assured that you. your support you. will not be in vain. Lord, and you will not find us one. We must build the, the, the Nigeria. Where Nigerian youth will be happy, glad to call us. their own country. Thank you, and may God Almighty continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. that supported Labour Party, our Papa, Peter O.B. Thank you all.